Los Angeles. I can't hear you. Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by Drop. I am stoked because I've been using Drop for many, many years. Drop is the easiest to use rewards app that automatically gives you points back for shopping at all your favorite brands that you normally would shop at like Sephora, Urban Outfitters, Postmates. Once you receive points, you can then redeem them through the app and they turn into gift cards from your favorite brands like Starbucks, Amazon, Sephora, the stores are endless. So it really allows you to maximize your paycheck and stretch your dollar and that's what I really love about Drop. It's a rewards program that is catered to my unique lifestyle and shopping preferences and I can redeem my points whenever and wherever I want. I first heard about Drop a couple of years ago through my friend and at first just like anything else I was like what's the catch but genuinely there is no catch you kind of have to make it like a habitual thing like if you're thinking about purchasing something whether it's to dine or just shop for something pull up the app first just take a quick browse to see if the brand that you were gonna shop at is on there nine times out of ten it will be once you get that down you'd be surprised on how many points you accumulate and how many gift cards you got lined up okay so here's how it works pull up the app and head over to the shop tab you'll see the tabs on the very bottom for example when you want to order postmates you click on the icon and you can see here that you will earn a hundred points per dollar spent at Postmates. So go ahead and click shop now, then it'll take you to their website and you'll just complete the checkout process like you normally would and then Drop will automatically add points to your account. Another great thing about Drop is your ability to stack your credit card rewards discounts. If you go to the shop page of the app and look under stack deals, you can take advantage of these discounts and earn Drop points on top of it. So for example, you can shop at Gap and they're having a 40% off sale. You can earn your regular Amex, Visa, or Master card points by using your cards and earn points through drop at the same time so it's a total win-win use the link in my description box to download the app and use my code Sophia in order to receive a $10 bonus on the app in form of points which is 10,000 points you will receive the bonus points once you have already earned a thousand points by just completing some of the offers on the app and one last thing the beginning of October 20th drop will be randomly dropping 10,000 dollars worth of points into drop members accounts every single Tuesday new and existing customers are eligible for this prize this offer is only available for one week so make sure you head to the link in my description box to download the app and use my code um, and thank you so much to drop for sponsoring this video happy Saturday I am here in Pasadena me and Whaley are taking the girls who have helped us with women for so long Krista and Josephine we're taking them out to dinner or lunch I'm sorry me and Whaley are just so appreciative of everything the girls have done for us like they've been with us since we started today. <laughs> Luckily I had on this very dainty dress. <laughs> this is from RUMI. I love it. It's like a jersey knit. I wanted to talk about everything that's been going on. Woman posted some stories yesterday just giving you guys an update on 
where we're at and our next series uh, series five is actually launching on october 5th so by the time you guys see this it will be out would love it if you guys checked out the collection it is our final collection and we have decided collectively as a team that we'll be shutting down women it was a really difficult decision to make and we've been talking about it for the past I want to say month and a half um, you know we're not the only small business out there that's been struggling it's been throughout our country and I really feel for all of the businesses that have taken a huge hit because I totally understand what it feels like to have put in everything into you know a brand from ground up and it kind of feels like all of it is just taken from you and it was a hard pill to swallow obviously you guys know that the whole team put in so much work so i'm not just speaking for myself and everyone had different roles but this was something that i was really proud of i think we created an amazing brand with such a small team with such a short amount of time uh, we've only been running in business for 18 months and we have accomplished so much and i think that's what has truly got me through feeling all the emotions of shutting down. I was really torn, there was tears, there's just a lot of emotions, but I think now that some weeks have passed and I knew that this was coming, I mentally have prepared myself for the day to announce that we're gonna be shutting down. And it wasn't an easy decision to make and if it was up to me, I would totally want to continue. Like I love everything that women stands for and what we've created but all good things come to an end one way or another and though i feel like we had still so much more to offer our time was cut short because of the state of our country and no one could have ever predicted that this was going to happen but there's no regrets i have learned so much about myself throughout this process on a personal level on a business level, um, it's just taught me a lot. I wouldn't trade this experience for anything because it is a big part of who I am today and the Sophie last year compared to this year is a totally different person and I think that's what life is all about. It's about growth and it's about taking risks, trying new things and sometimes failing, sometimes fucking up and making mistakes, but learning from all of that to come out just a better person and that is what woman has done for me so i know the news is really heavy and it is sad and maybe some of you didn't expect it but we really tried we did the best that we could do and in the end i'm just proud i'm proud of all of our accomplishments now for anyone who has supported us whether it's purchasing something and even if you've never had the chance to buy something if you've shown us support in other ways, just even browsing on our website and giving us the time of day, thank you so much. This brand would not have been possible if we didn't have the support. And you guys allowed us to continue to create these series and to challenge ourselves to be a better brand. And we weren't perfect. I don't think any brand is, but given our circumstance, I'm so grateful. So thank you guys so much. This really would not have been possible without you guys. And I don't know, maybe in the future, it's possible we could create something else. I'm not sure what that would be. I've learned a lot about apparel. <laughs> Shit's not easy, uh, but I have hope that one day I can come back and create something else that I'm passionate about whether it's clothing, a different product, I don't know. I just know that there is something else that I should be doing alongside with my channel. So, try not to cry here. <laughs> I already did enough of that. So, from the bottom of my heart, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for everything. Come on, Luna. <laughs> Come on, take us to the elevator. She's matching with me in my shoes. Leash is from Little Howler. This is the Noctis traffic lead. And her collar is from Little Howler as well. A little angel.
goodness. You gotta text Jen. I'm such a crybaby. I just got done watching um, Jen's video, what I learned in my 20s. And wow, what an amazing video. Okay, I got through a good amount of my vlog, maybe three days worth, but your girl can do it if I just put my mind to it. <laughs> Editing days are so strenuous on my body because I feel like I don't like, I'm, I'm hunched over and I do like the standing uh, desk in between, but um, it's still like, it's pretty taxing on me. I think we're good. <laughs> Why are you barking like crazy? Is this your favorite spot in the house? Hmm? Yeah? You like to ruin my couch, don't you? And by the time I want lunch, Leo always asks for a bone. down. Good boy. I'm excited to try this Colina dairy-free and plant-based yogurt. Apparently very healthy. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> There's three seconds apart. Oh, okay, I guess move it, I don't know. Oh! It came out? Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. That's not, is that enough? I don't know. I don't know. This is so satisfying.
how pretty my papaya bowl is. I love this little baby papaya. Sometimes they're just so big, but this is like the perfect size. Finally, I get to eat. Mm. Mm. This papaya is so good. Mm. So I've been wanting to film another what I eat in a day video, but I thought of a twist that I think you guys might really like. So I haven't told you guys this, but my parents are actually coming in on Tuesday. So I thought I'd film a what I eat in a day featuring like my mom's cooking. I know you guys love my mom. She's crazy just like me. But let me know if you guys are interested in that kind of video. I think it'll be fun. I'm trying to find a translator right now. I have one person that I reached out to, but for that video, I want there to be captions in English and in Korean because I'm probably gonna be speaking English and my mom will probably speak Korean. So that way, if you're Korean, you can follow along and if you're not, you can follow along as well. Because obviously when my mom is here, I eat so much. I mean, she just cooks and cooks and cooks and cooks. And I'm not complaining because I feel like the past week or ever since I got back from SF, I just haven't been eating like I should. Good morning. <laughs> I'm feeling really great today, as you can see. Got a lot of energy, and the reason because is I went on my morning run. But yeah, I'm just having a really good day, and you know, also because it's Friday, yeah. My video went live yesterday, and that is the best feeling. Once the video is up, I get like a day or two of rest from editing. <laughs> And I just focus on like emails, concepts, uh, journaling, and reading. And then like in two days, it's back on the grind. I'm back. I blow dried my hair. It's been so long since I've done anything to it. Anyways, I got a ton of questions about which journals I use. So I thought I'd share with you guys what I've been using. So I have... Recently, I just got this one, which I'll talk about, but I have two journals. They happen to be in the same color uh, by coincidence. I purchased this one on Best Self. It actually just comes in a hard cover. Cover is sold separately in case you guys are wondering, but I have the self journal. It's a 13 week journal. You have your bucket list, um, your best self benchmarks, uh, 13 week goals, habit trackers, weekly planning and reviews, and then your journal. So to be completely honest, I miss some weeks and some days just depending on what my week looks like. Um, I was pretty consistent in the beginning, but sometimes I'm just slammed with work and I'm the type of person who likes to take time when I write on my journal. I'm not like a sloppy writer. When I need to jot things down quickly, I use my computer. So I like to take my time in here because I like to reflect back on it. But on most days, I like to wake up and plan my day or I'll do it the night before in bed. This journal is great because again, there's just a lot of different parts to it. You have your bucket list. Um, there's also a habit tracker. I feel like for some people who are so routine oriented this can be a little bit difficult if you get kind of fixated on it i'm not one of those people like journaling and planning my day and reaching my goals it's important but i don't let my mind get so wrapped around it to the point where i make myself feel guilty about it my advice to people who get a little bit obsessive on things like this you just gotta remember that all these things are just bonuses to your life that shouldn't dictate your life or make you feel shit about it. And if it does, then maybe it's not for you. And then you go into your weekly planning. Um, so you kind of do that week by week and then you hit your daily planning. Circle which day it is, like Wednesday, you write down the date. You talk about things you're grateful for. Um, you talk about your goal for the day, your uh, daily targets. And here is your blank page where I usually like to, I used to write out my thoughts at the end of the day, just kind of journaling here. 
Um, and there's always like a really cute quote on the top. Your day is listed by the hour. So from six to nine, you can plan out every hour what your tasks are. This is the journal I've been using. A lot of you have been asking me about it. I really like how everything is kind of already listed. I was doing a little bit of like bullet journaling um, last year and I feel like it, it's fun, but it just takes so much time that I end up not picking up my journal. So having something where everything is kind of listed out, it's just much more efficient. And I really like how the first part of your daily planner is to talk about what you're grateful for because that's something that we tend to overlook and it just humbles you and reminds you of all the things you have to be grateful for. It could be, you know, really big things like relationships or family, but also it could be you know, things, something that I'm grateful for every day is like my morning cup of coffee, uh, things like this that we overlook, but it brings me so much joy in a very cheesy way. But you know, those are things that I'm grateful for that aren't so deep, but it does bring me joy. But I kind of realized it may be best to keep my thoughts separate from like my work. That is why this journal comes in handy. A Midori just regular blank notebook. It's made with Japanese paper. The paper is incredible. I love writing on this paper. It's so smooth. Um, but this is really nice because it's just separate from my work stuff. And initially I thought it would be a good idea to just have it all in one, but I don't know. I just think it's better to keep it separate. So that's why I have two, but I will link everything down below. I really love this as just my personal diary because the paper just feels amazing and I have to talk about my favorite pen at the moment. There's nothing crazy special about it, but for those of you who don't know, I'm left-handed. If you're a lefty, you already know how difficult it is to find pens that work for you because the constant struggle that we have is whenever we write, the bottom of your hand is going over your writing. So there's constant smudging. Whereas a right-handed person, you're writing away from your words, if that makes sense. So I've tried so many different pens and there's a lot of other pens that write better than this one, but it always smudges. I literally have black ink all over this area by the time I'm done. The reason why I like this pen is because it dries super fast and I just don't have that issue. I don't even know where this is from. Los Angeles, I can't hear you. Happy Sunday. I am in downtown. We're actually picking up some coffee at Phil's. Oh, it's already here. Thank you. We are at Din Tai Fung. Oh my god, this is my favorite cucumber salad. Mm. 